In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to search for emails by date in Gmail. So you can find emails that you received on a very specific date or emails that you received within a certain range of dates. To do this on the Gmail website, you'll need to click up in the search box up the top of the screen here. But you're not actually just typing a word or something you're searching for. There's a specific formula you have to type into the search to bring up emails within a certain date range. It is a bit weird, but the first thing you'll need to do is type the word after, followed by a colon, and then you'll need to type the date of the oldest email you want to see in this search. And you need to type it in the specific date format, year, month, and day. So we'll type 2025 slash two, so February, and we'll make it the 1st of February. So now it will show you any emails that you received after the 1st of February, 2025. So if that's all you want to do, you could hit enter here and just search for that. But to see a proper date range, you will need to then press space and type the word before and a colon. And now you will type the date of the newest email you want to see in that same year, month, day format. So let's make that the 28th of February there. So now, if you go ahead and press enter to search, you will see any emails that you received between this date and this date. So that's your date range. So make sure it's typed out exactly like this. It has to be typed exactly like this for it to work. But once you're happy with that, go ahead and press the enter key on your keyboard and it will show you all your emails that you received between these dates. Now, this is a demo account, so there aren't many emails in here at all, but the few emails that are here and were received between these dates are now showing here, as you can see by the dates on the emails here. So that's how you can search a date range for a range of dates. But if you want to get more specific and only see specifically one day worth of emails or something, you can adjust these dates in here accordingly. So let's say we wanted to see all the emails from the 5th of February. We would click up here and adjust this to be the 5th there. So we'll make the after date the exact date of the emails we want to see. And then we need to make the before date the day after the emails we want to see. So the day after this date. So we'll make that the 6th. If you make both of these the same date, you'll see nothing. So you have to do it that way. After is the day you want and before is the day after. And then you can go ahead and press enter and it will show you that one email or those several emails that you received on that specific day. And you can also use other search parameters at the same time. So we have this date search in here, but you can click in here and type any other search you want next to it to filter it down even more. To really demonstrate this, Tommy's going to change this date to make it a wider range. So maybe the 5th to the 10th or something so that it has some more recent emails and generally more emails. So if we search for that, we now have these 23 emails here between these dates. But if we want to narrow it down, we could search for something like TV next to this date range. So just a space and then you can type whatever search you want. And then when you press enter, it'll only show you specific emails received between these dates that also match whatever search criteria you've typed in here. So you could type a word like TV or something. You could type from someone's name, someone's email address or something. There's a whole lot of filters you could do by typing different things in the search here. And by default, this is showing you every email in Gmail that matches this criteria. But you can also narrow it down to specific folders if you want. You can click in here and type in colon inbox and press enter. And now it will only show you the emails within these dates that are in your inbox. 
or you could do a similar thing with your sent emails or something. To me, I actually didn't send any emails between those dates, but if you did, you would see them in there. Or if you have created custom labels like this, so other folders like this one to me has called example folder, you actually don't type in example folder. Instead, you type label because these are technically labels you've created. So we would type label here and then a colon and then the name of the label you want to search. So in this case, it would be example folder, but you can't type a space. So instead, we would have to type example and a hyphen and then the word folder. If your name doesn't have any spaces, you won't have to worry about that. But if you have any spaces, you will need to replace those spaces with hyphens. And then go ahead and press enter. And now it will show us the two emails that are in this folder within these dates. So you can get more specific with it like that if you want to. And then once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and clear the search and come back to your inbox and everything will be back to normal. But that's all there is to it. That's how you can search for emails by date in Gmail on the Gmail website. And if you want to learn how you can do this on the Gmail app on a phone or tablet, Tommy does also have another video coming about that very soon. But that's it for now. Hopefully you found this video helpful and Tommy might see you in another one in the future.